This video shows an alternate solution to Lesson 3, Practice Exercise A, which uses the Select Layer by Location Tools older syntax. This solution starts out much like the first one in terms of the variables defined at the beginning. Where it differs is that instead of specifying feature classes as inputs to Select Layer by Location, it specifies feature layer objects. These objects are created on lines 15 and 18 using the Make Feature Layer tool. So we make a feature layer that has all of the park and rides, and then another one that has all of the cities. And for both of these, the Make Feature Layer tool has two parameters that we supply. The name of the feature class that's going to act as the source of the features, and then the second parameter is the name that we want to use to refer to this feature layer throughout the rest of the script. That's one aspect of this that takes some getting used to, that the object you're creating gets referred to using a string in this case, uh, park and ride layer and cities layer. Another thing to remember is that you're not creating a new data set on disk with this tool. A feature layer exists only temporarily in memory while the script runs. So we've got these two feature layers that we can now perform selections on. And in line 25, we are uh, using select layer by location to select all the cities that contain features from the park and ride layer. It's important to note that when using the tool with this approach, the cities layer comes into line 25 referring to all 108 city features. And after having the selection applied to it in line 25, it refers to just the 74 features that contain a park and ride. So I then go on to open an update cursor on that feature layer so that I can iterate over those 74 features. The rest of the script is mostly the same as the first version, though there are a couple of differences. Number one, I'm not storing the result object returned by select layer by location in this version. So I'm not able to retrieve the count of selected features from that object, like we saw in the first solution. And I really do need to implement my counter variable this time. And number two, this version creates two feature layers. So when doing the cleanup, I want to delete both of these layers. <clears throat> 